Hi everyone! Today I'll be drawing a sunflower uh, or something of the sort and the best way to do this in my opinion is to just draw a few wiggly lines off a semicircle. Once you've done that just draw a line which starts at the point and then goes a little bit wider towards the middle and then back to the point again down the bottom and then do the same on the opposite side of that wiggly line just like what I'm doing here but try to hide your wiggly line behind the one next to it now we've just created some segments so in each one of those little segments you'll be adding some lines have a look at how I've done that there and what you're doing is basically just drawing a line from the top to the bottom from the top to the bottom and leaving a slight little gap in between as you can see but it's important that you get from one point to the next point so just keep going around you can leave a few gaps like that if you like to create a little bit of um, the look of a fold as you um, gather the lines together it starts to create a darker tone in certain areas and that sort of gives the illusion that there's something three-dimensional going on there it creates a bit of depth because of the darkness and also because of consequently the light created by the gaps so keep going along in this part I've sped up a little bit just for the sake of time uh, what you can do is just really really take your time to get some really smooth curved lines I'm just creating a bit more of a pointed tip on the ends of these petals and outlining the, uh, the petals to create a darker edge. So you can, that's an optional thing. If you'd like to thicken up some of those petals as well, like what I've just done there, uh, you just add a few extra lines and color in that little background there. It does give it a nice effect, I think, when it's darker towards the center. And inside the center semicircle, I'm just going to add some dots, uh, some stippling, just to create uh, a little bit of a varied texture. And what I'm doing is I'm keeping the dots quite dense around the edges. And as I'm going towards the center, I'm spreading the dots apart. For the background I've decided to just use some broken lines. Uh, I'm trying to keep them as straight as possible. I think that's a really nice contrast to the waves that are in the petals uh, and I didn't want to uh, keep a consistent straight line. I just thought maybe that a broken line would add a little bit more um, interest and variety just a little bit of contrast to uh, what's going on. You could also leave it blank. It looks quite nice when there's just white as the background or maybe just a really bold color to make it stand out. But for this particular example, uh, yeah, I'm just using the dotted lines. You can make them even, you can make them uneven. I don't know if it matters too much, but I tried to uh, just add a little bit of variety by you know making sure that I've got some short ones and some long ones as well and I've decided not to go all the way to the bottom I decided to stop in some random places to create a different look so you can go across the entire back of the page if you like or you can just do segments as what I've done
you can see my crooked border stands out quite a lot so I'm just going to go around and thicken up my border this gives me the opportunity to tidy up any uneven lines maybe hide um, a few lines that weren't on a really nice straight angle uh, as you'll see here I just thicken up one side and then I go ahead and I thicken up the other side and it just creates a nice bold line There we go, just a few finishing touches. I decided to add a couple of extra, extra drops in the background there. What do you think? How do you like it? I really enjoyed this one. Um, I don't usually use a really thick marker to do my drawings, but I did use a thicker marker for this one and I think it turned out quite nice. You could use a fine line, you could use a different color if you like, you can do the entire thing in color. I think it'd look great either way. But if you'd like to see more of my stuff, please pop over to TikTok uh, to see my short tutorials or you might catch me live there or check out my other videos on my YouTube page. So yeah, have a great day, have a great night and hope to see you guys again soon. Bye!